My name is Greg Stuver. I have a 1987 Buick Grand National. Buick Regal Grand National Coupe. Wouldn't you really rather have a Buick? I purchased it about eight years ago from the original owners, uh, family in Michigan. Uh, he passed away, family got it. I bought it from them. Uh, it was a car that has a little history to it. It was taken off the Buick line when it was first, when it came off the line, it was taken to Buick headquarters and used there for some type of something. We don't know, I can't find that out. And then it was sent to a dealer where the original owner purchased it and now I'm the second owner of it. So talk to me about the engine, what do you got It's here? a 3.8 liter turbocharged. Uh, back in the day, it was the fastest car made in 1987, faster than uh, Porsches and Ferraris at that time. Uh, it was even faster than a Corvette, so they lowered the horsepower rating on paper so they wouldn't compete with a Corvette from the day. Um, but uh, it's all original. It's correct down to the headlamps. It's correct down to the windshield wipers. Basically, the only items I've changed are the maintenance items, the battery, tire. The battery is actually a diehard battery, but I had decals made up for a Delco Freedom, so it has the appearance of an original Delco Freedom battery that it came with. Other than that, it's if you were to go to a Buick dealer in 1987, this is how the car would be. A lot of the Buick aficionados that I have met during the time I've owned this, they said the horsepower was well over 300. Um, but they couldn't put that on paper because Chevrolet had the Corvette and they didn't want the Corvette to be topped. Gotcha. So, that's how that is. So uh, do you run this thing hard or? No, no. I drive this thing like uh, grandpa here. I don't, this car is a was a dream of mine to have and when I retired I bought it because I used to deliver paint in Homestead and I would drive past Blake Buick in Homestead back in the day and see these cars brand new and I said to myself someday I'm going to have one of those. Life happens, kids, everything and finally when I got the means to do it I went ahead and, and searched and found this one. So how does it make you feel when you are driving it? Oh, like <laughs> in, in, incredible, incredible. And the best thing about it is even driving it slow, you get the attention. Yeah. You know, people give you the thumbs up. Uh, the young ones want to, they rev their motors next to you because they want to race you. But no, I got, this car is, it was a sentimental purchase, like I said, and I just don't want to, things break on old cars. Everybody that owns them knows them. So bring me around the car. Show me. Uh, okay. Uh, this car has a lot of different values. Uh, I've had I, I've had it appraise it appraises high. Let's put it this way: it, it's I I would have to pay double what I paid for this car well, about eight years ago. Is what, and uh, the values of this particular car, the Grand Nationals, have soared. They really have. I bought I bought this car at a good time. Um, Every now and then, I meet the boxer. Yeah, they're 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 going for a good amount. Uh, it's got original. These are actually not original to the car, but these are actually '92. 1992 Dakota tires. They're, I drive it, and that's another reason I drive it slow because they're old tires. They're old tires. All right. All right. So, talk to me about this interior. Okay. The interior is very original. Like I said, I've got some props here, mine device tapes, a beeper, everything period correct. Can course. I make a phone call, by the way? Or, uh... <laughs> yeah. With, yeah. No. Unfortunately, that doesn't work. It's just for show only. <laughs> um, I did have to replace the headliner because on these G bodies of this year, they all sag. But I got that from a OEA GM licensed vendor, uh, Darth Vader, of course. This car has a nickname of being Darth Vader. And this is all original too? It's all original. Uh, like I said, it's a very lightly optioned car. Does not have the concert series radio, does not have power seats, and does not have power windows. And the interior was just like this? It's exactly it is. The only thing I put in was the floor mats. I do have a set of factory correct original rubber floor mats for this car, but I kind of like the look of the Grand National. But yes, the material is all Original, back seats original, um, yes, super original car, which is... Very is, rare. Yes, very rare, because a lot of these Buick Grand Nationals were modified for performance. The paint? Original paint car. It's had a paint one paint correction, mm -hmm. uh, no ceramic coat, but that's original black paint, which we all know in the 80s had like an orange peel look to it. That's how I, people say, oh, that's original, because it has that era correct eight, uh, orange peel. That's awesome. Um, Everything is uh, factory. Looks amazing. I like the antenna. The antenna, which is wired. <laughs> Talk to me about the window copy sticker. of the window sticker. I got a copy of the invoice, and this is another indication. This is the this is where the car goes after it's made. When it's invoiced, it's sent to a dealer. This would have the dealer's name, say Blake Buick, or uh, mm. this has Buick Motor Division GMC number one, which indicates it went to the Buick headquarters when it was new. 
And that little time period, I don't know if it was a show car, I don't know if it was uh, yeah. a test car, an executive demo car, I don't know. Okay. But uh, it's a very lightly optioned car. No T-tops. I didn't want a T-top car, but uh, it's not a whole lot of options. And, and it was a relatively mid-range price car, $16,748. Uh, they went anywhere from 15 to the high 20s, and of course the GNXs were in the 30s and 40s at the time, which was a lot. Talk to me about the badging that you have on the hood and on the... The so, badging is the, the 3.8 nice. turbo badging. Uh, oh, this they, is they call that too, the right? bulge. Yes, all original badging on here. And also, if you can tell the patina, it has like a green tint to it. That is a glass process that these original emblems went through to, to be made. And over time, it turns green. Now, if you see, you don't yeah. see that on a little car, that means somebody replaced the emblems. I'm keeping it, you know, I, right. the discoloration is nothing to me. I want cars are original one time. And that's, uh, it seems like that's what you want, the originality. Yes, yes. The, I want to keep this as original as I can. Like I said, I, I replace all the parts with new old stock or OEM parts if I can. And I keep all the broken parts I take off this car, which hasn't been many, but I do keep them in my garage. So, so would so anybody offer you any money to sell it? Would you sell it? Uh, no, no. I've had some pretty incredible cash offers for this car over the years. In fact, one gentleman pursues me at car shows. I haven't seen him in a year or so, but he usually makes an appearance standing offer. And I just, it was, like I said, it was a sentimental purchase. I, my kids can do whatever they want with this car, but until that day, <laughs> I'm going to keep it.